Hi everyone, we are on day five of the Parenting Roundup for Back to School. So today what we're talking about is parenting hacks. And in the comments below, we want you to share any hacks that you have that make your parenting easier. So today I'm gonna to share with you a couple hacks. The first one, we have two girls and a boy. We have, um, our house is not very wide, it's just tall. So um, our main floor, like after we come down in the morning to eat breakfast, I kinda don't want my kids going back up to their bedrooms because I feel like I'm gonna lose their focus. So instead of having the kids go back upstairs to, um, they come down already dressed for the day, brush their teeth, um, instead of having them go up to do their hair and brush their teeth, we do that on our main floor. And so we have this basket that's in a cupboard right by the front door, and in it is hair supplies. So they have, you know, we have ponytail holders, we have amazing headbands like this, <laughs> and we have hairspray too. So this is my favorite hairspray actually. We just got a new one. This hairspray lasts us for a long time because I don't use a lot, but it helps to prevent lice. Um, Fairy Tales Rosemary Rapal. You can also do like a, a squirt bottle with some rosemary essential oil, but we like to use this hairspray on the kids in the morning. So this is a great hack because then you don't lose their focus. I believe that if children are watching television before school or if you're sending them off into their room to play or to, to get something, they can lose focus. In our case, our kids will just get sidetracked. So um, we don't have them do that. The second thing is an Ikea caddy, and you can get these caddies, I don't have one right next to me to show you, but you can get them in the Target dollar spot, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. But it's basically, it kind of looks like this, and it has a handle, right, and it has the different cup holders. Each of our kids have one of those in their bathroom so that they can keep their, you know, a washcloth in there, some soap to wash their face, they can keep their toothbrush and a toothpaste in there, and it's a great little caddy so that if we're all, you know, if they're having a little sleepover or something, they already have all their stuff in one place. The caddy is awesome. Um, and then they can put their own hair stuff for the weekends in there and what have you. And then last but not least, especially if they're sharing a bathroom, the caddy is really helpful. Last but not least is um, baskets. We love to put books in baskets. We have a book basket in our main living area that we put themed books. So right now we have all back to school books that we got from the library and that we own and they're all in that basket. There's also one in our bedroom. So um, we don't have a lot of televisions. We only have two TVs in the house and our main family room and in our bedroom. So um, for some reason, I, I guess we just hang out in our bedroom a lot. There, we have a book basket in there and if the kids are going to watch TV, we just do it in there. So what I do is while I'm cooking dinner, which is usually kind of the witching hour, between 4 and 6 p.m. the kids get home around 4 25 and you know it just is like them coming in with their after school routine after school snack homework uh cooking dinner so while i'm cooking dinner i like to kind of send kids to different spaces in the house so that arguments don't happen um so and they they also just need a little bit of quiet time after school so i can send kids to the reading basket in our family room i can send another kid to the reading basket in my bedroom and another kid can go to another space in their house in the house um so during cooking dinner i like to have the kids take like 20 minutes to go read and it's one of the best things that you can do for your children is to give them that quiet reading time. So that is another one of my parenting hacks. So Drew, great to see you. Drew, chime in. You are all things parenting. You're on, I think you're still doing a sabbatical with your family, um, or maybe you're working over there, but on the other side of the world in like a very tropical place. Please chime in if you have any parenting hacks that you'd like to share with us. So if you're just getting this video, you can rewind for my hairstyling parenting hack, my bathroom parenting hack with the, with the caddy, and then also um, the reading parenting hack. All right, everybody, comment below. Give us all your greatest, greatest parenting hacks. Let's team up together to make this parenting journey a little bit easier.